In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a neon effect in Photoshop. First of all, go to the File menu and click on the Open option. Select a brick wall image for your background and click on the Open button. Go to the Image menu and resize the image to 1920 by 1200 pixels. Now once again, go to the Image menu, select Adjustments, and click on the Hue Saturation option from the menu. Reduce the saturation to minus 55, Lightness to minus 85, and click on the OK button to apply these settings. Add a new layer and rename it to Clouds Filter, go to the Filter menu, select Render, and click on the Clouds option from the menu. Change its blending mode to Color Dodge, select the Eraser tool, change its hardness to 0%, diameter to 500 pixels, and erase the sides of the cloud layer. Now select the Text tool from the menu, choose the Harlow Solid Italic font, 250 point for the size, and 1A99F1 for font color. Write your text and place it at the center of the cloud layer. Once done, simply duplicate the text layer. On the original text layer, go to the Filter menu, click on Blur, and select the Gaussian Blur option from the menu. Click on the OK button to rasterize the layer and choose 5 pixels for the radius. Once the blur filter is applied, right-click on the duplicate text layer and select the blending options from the menu. Set its opacity to 0%. Go to the Drop Shadow tab, set the Blend Mode to Multiply and Opacity to 75%. Set the Angle to 90 degrees, Distance to 20 pixels, and Size to 30 pixels. Once done, click on the Inner Shadow tab and change the Blend Mode to Color Burn, Opacity to 100%, Angle to minus 90 degrees, Distance to 5 pixels, and Size to 20 pixels. Move on towards the Outer Glow tab, choose the Blend Mode to Color Dodge, Opacity to 75%, Color to White, and increase the Size to 250 pixels. Now click on the Bevel and Emboss tab, choose the Style to Inner Bevel and Technique to Smooth, Depth to 50%, Size to 5 pixels, and Soften to 15 pixels. Under the Shading menu, set the Angle to minus 90 degrees and Altitude to 10 degrees. In Highlight mode, choose White color with 100% Opacity and in the Shadow mode, choose Black color with 85% Opacity. Go to the Color Overlay tab, change the Blending Mode to Linear Dodge, Add, Color to White and Opacity to 50%. Once done, click on the OK button to apply these settings. Now duplicate the top layer and change its opacity to 40%. Right-click on it and make another duplicate of that layer. Right-click on this layer and select the Clear Layer Style option from the menu. Go to the Filter menu, select Blur, and click on the Gaussian Blur option. Choose the radius to 100 pixels and click on the OK button to apply these changes. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Color Dodge. Add a layer, change its name to Connections, and move it below the text layer. Choose the Brush tool from the menu, change its diameter to 30 pixels and hardness to 100%. Change the foreground color to black and paint small spots on the text towards the wall. Make two connections for each character. Once done, go to the Blending Options, disable the Global Light option, and set the angle to 160 degrees. Change the size to 2 pixels and soften to 5 pixels and click on the OK button to apply these settings. Now add another layer, change its name to Shadow Effects 
and move it below the Connections layer. Select the Brush tool from the menu, change its diameter to 50 pixels and hardness to 0%. Once done, apply the brush over the text. Once done, change the opacity of this layer to 30% and you're done.